ringing in the new year right here in Studio C in Meridian Township. is getting started right now and um, there's a old-fashioned photo booth, children activities, signature cocktail, historical pictorial right behind me and there's also a special screening at 515 and 730 of Meridian, the lines that define us, a documentary created by Home TV. So stay with us right here and we will bring you live updates and interviews throughout the event. Bringing in the new year in Meridian Township right here at Studio C. We're about ready to do the screening of the documentary Meridian, The Lions That Define Us. But first, we have a special guest, Jane Rose, Executive Director for the Meridian Historical Village and historian. Jane, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so happy to be here tonight. So, 175 years the township will be celebrating next year. With researching history, what kind of significant things um, do you want to say in your research? I think the biggest thing is the transition throughout the township. The um, focus has really popped around the whole township. Um, some areas have had great growth at times and others have surpassed them at other times. So it's a very dynamic um, township and it remains so. We're still changing, we're still growing, and it's still a wonderful township. And I'm sure you're excited about 175 years. What do you want to say about that? Oh my gosh, yes, I am. As a historian, I, I just love it. You know, it took an awful lot of people to create this township. And as a historian, I am just always amazed at the strength and the courage of our ancestors. And without that strength and courage, this township would never have been created, uh, built up, developed, and so I think it's a tribute to everybody who went before us. And the documentary, you can see it kind of behind us, um, Meridian the Lines That Define Us. You were interviewed and you helped um, Home TV, who produced the video, come up with some people to interview. So what do you want to say about the documentary? Oh, I'm really, I'm really excited about it. I mean, you've got uh, the history, history is printed, but you also have the oral history and that's from the people who were interviewed and you're gonna to hear tonight. Okay, Jane, thank you so much. You're welcome. We just saw the first screening of Meridian, The Lines That Define Us, and I have two attendees here who said as they were leaving that they really enjoyed the documentary. And why did you enjoy it? Well, I've been interested in history, and uh, I only came here in 1978, so I don't know all the history about this. And so I was found it very informative and interesting and I want to explore more. Now she's lived here a much longer time, so she's a different version. So you're both Meridian Township residents, yes? Yes, yes. we yes. both live in Okemos. Okay, uh -huh. okay, and anything that shocked you in today's documentary? Uh, first of all, I've um, grown up in the area. I'm a native of Lansing, Michigan. 
So coming out to the park as a child was one of the fun adventures. And so that was fun to see that tied into the program tonight. And that we really enjoyed, I did, um, the, the introductory part talking about the history of the native population here and how it, it changed over the years. It was very informative. And also um, just interesting parts like the professors leaving, living in a subdivision and wanting schools to be better because that has been a wonderful gift that my family has received here is the education. And anything else you want to add? Well, I might add that she has a son-in-law that has done a history of the Native Americans and so we're excited to him to see it and see what yes. he thinks of it. He's an anthropology professor and he did the beginning of his research of studying Meridian Township. So I'm anxious to have him see it to see. He, when I, he heard that I was coming, he said, I bet you you won't hear much about what I have learned about the township. And I'm sure we learned very little compared to a PhD student. Right. Well, there's more history be to be told. Is there anything else you want to say about the event or anything you're excited? Um, 175 years, there's a lot of events being planned for 2017. Well, it's fun to, to, to remember and to recreate who we are and who we are and can celebrate who we are. Okay. I found it extremely fascinating because coming here, the Meridian Mall was already developed and all that, and now I begin to understand what what happened before then, and uh, I'm excited to talk with my children and grandchildren about it because they live here. Great. Well, thank you so much, ladies. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your evening, and obviously there's more history in the making here in Meridian Township. Thank you. Thank you. Meridian Township Communications Director Deborah Guthrie to talk about the 175th anniversary of the township and all the upcoming events in 2017. First, it looks like this is a successful event. What can you tell me about the planning about New Year's Eve? Oh my gosh, uh, so much work went into this. There are so many people to thank. I mean, first, the township board, um, the previous township board who approved this to even happen and then Studio C, who became the sponsors. Uh, we knew we wanted to kick off the 175th anniversary in 2017 with a bang, with fireworks. Um, Luann Maisner, Parks and Recreation Director, she's always wanted to do fireworks on New Year's Eve. And we knew uh, this was the perfect location to bring Hazlitt residents together with Okemos residents to tell the history of the township, to showcase a documentary here at Studio C. Um, and then, and then just to bring families here, you know, because New Year's isn't always just about um, partying at a bar or anything at midnight. It's about bringing in the New Year with your family. And Meridian Township is a huge family-oriented community type of place, and so is Studio C. They're all about community and family, and so it was kind of a perfect match to have New Year's here. And so we just really knew that we wanted to plan that. We just started planning a, a long time ago and, and said, okay, this is this is the place to be. This is where we're going to be. And then this is the first time Meridian Township has had a ball drop leading up to the fireworks. The Meridian Township Fire Department created the ball. What about, what did you, how did you feel that went? So we like threw out ideas. How are we going to do it? How big? We wanted it to be so big that it was hanging from the sky and people would drive around the township saying, what is that ball? Why is there a ball hanging up in the sky? We have to stop at Meridian Mall and see what that ball is. And so Bill really took the ball by the horns and he um, started researching and, and he would contact me about it and I said, this is all, this is all you, Bill, you got it. I just want a huge ball so everyone can see it. And so he started building it at his house. And then he took it to the fire station. And he had his daughter standing. There's a picture of his daughter standing inside the ball. And he sent it to me one day. And he's like, here's the start of it. And it's just white PVC pipe with his daughter like 
like that. And then he brought it back to the firehouse and everyone started putting all the lights around it. And oh my gosh, was it gorgeous hanging up in the sky. And so they, the, the fire department, just fantastic. They lit up the entire fire truck. They lit up the ladder. They had um, Metro on standby because our ladder wasn't in use so that we could celebrate <laughs> tonight. And so, you know, they had ever, everyone just kind of pitched in. It was just gorgeous, you know. I know that was a big draw, the fireworks and the ball drop, but the documentary, there were two showings, the history, the beginning of the history yeah. of Meridian Township, and um, something that you worked very closely on. Tell us about how that all came together. Well, we knew we wanted to do a documentary, 175 years. We knew we wanted to crunch it into around 40, 45 minutes. And so, um, Eric Sherman, producer, editor, he did everything on this piece. Um, he worked really hard for practically an entire year gathering the stories of the people, gathering the stories of their history and what they've witnessed and how the township is shaped, who we are today. And so he spent a lot of time researching and working with people putting this together. And I know that he's probably going to do a couple more tweaks because I know him. Um, and add a little bit more to it. Um, so we knew that we wanted to do a documentary and that we wanted to air it here. I was super worried that no seats would be sold. I was really worried about it. Um, so I did a lot of Facebook posts and tweets telling people about it and stuff. And you had almost two sold out shows. Yeah, I mean, just two weeks ago, there were 20 tickets sold, and I was fretting. I was so stressed out. And then, um, and then the theater sold out, and then on Friday, Studio C moved it to bigger theaters, and then those sold out as well. So it's fantastic. It's really good. And we've heard a lot of good feedback from people about the documentary, how it told the story of how the township, how the lines define Meridian Township. So not only 2017 is not only celebrating history, it's moving different, celebrating community throughout the year. Yeah, it's celebrating who we are now. Who are we? Let's come together. Let's bring everyone together. Let's celebrate. Let's look at how we came to be and let's talk about our future and where we're going. And I know there's some you know, Tap and Tavern is coming to downtown Okemos. I know the township's working really hard to try to get more businesses to come to Hazlitt and the Hazlitt Business District area. Um, so it's a lot of celebration in different business districts and just showing the community, this is who Meridian Township is. And let's come out, let's see what we have, because there is a lot to offer, and let's celebrate. Okay, well, thank you so much, Deborah. I'm sure we'll interview you in the future at many of these events. So thank you once again. Thanks. There's plenty more going on this evening, so as we ring in the new year, we'll check out what else is happening at the New Year's Eve and 175th anniversary kickoff celebration in Meridian Township. in the new year in Meridian Township right here in Studio C. It's their 175th anniversary kickoff celebration and fireworks. We are at the photo booth, which you can see behind me there's a green screen. It's because we have historic photos in the photo booth so you can be a part of Meridian's history right here at this event. So Great Lakes Audiovisual is a sponsor of tonight's um, New Year's Eve kickoff celebration and you can see a uh, trolley with a horse and carriage buggy. We have the carousel, and I can't remember the other one, but it's another historic photo that these are real historic photos from Meridian Township. So how many people do you guys think you had? Uh, we had about 70, 75 photos. 75 photos taken today at this event. Everyone was able to share a smile with Meridian's history. Studio C with Justin Ziegler, who's the general manager, and he is going to make the signature cocktail of Meridian Township's 175th anniversary, the Meridian Mule. Tell us about this drink. So we're starting out with a copper mug full of ice. You do a shot of vodka. Normally a Moscow Mule uses ginger beer, but we're changing it up a little bit. We're using ginger ale instead. And we're going to top that with a little bit of lime juice.
Okay. And how many do you think you've sold? At least 50. 50? Have you heard good things? Yeah, I tried it myself. It's really good. Okay, and Studio C is a sponsor of today's event. Why did you guys want to get involved with Meridian Township's 175th? Because it's obviously very important. It's a huge milestone. Why wouldn't we want to be a part of that? And how do you think tonight's event went? Very successful. Thank you so much, Justin. Now we're going to head out to our ball drop and the fireworks presentation. The ball that the Marine Township Fire Department has put together with more than a thousand lights is dropping. Countdown to New Year's Eve fireworks at 645. We're ringing in the new year a little early here in Meridian Township. We had a sec successful showing. Oh, it looks like it's almost done. We had a showing of our documentary that will be showing again at 730. There's plenty of people here waiting. And like I said, they're counting down to have fireworks blast off. We want to wish you a happy new year and we'll see you in 2017.